You went hard with Apex. Yeah, I still like it. I still go hard. It's just that, you know, it's just. Yeah. No, I feel you. Yeah. It's very rare on Twitch to. To. Be to find a category that at the same time, you know, like in, in terms of business, right? Not just fun in business, right? To find a category that works for you in business and in your fun. That's what gambling was for me, right? And that's probably what Apex is for this guy, you know? Yeah. It's a very rare, rare, rare thing, right? To be in the section that is the peak of your business while at the same time simultaneously being the peak of your fun yeah no it's so not it's not condition. only not only are you succeeding but you're also this is what you'd be doing regardless of success right like that is the true dream that no one talks about right that's oh, what gambling yeah, no, is to me that. and that's what apex is to him and that's what probably variety gaming is to xqc right like the most successful streamers have that that's the next level after you become a streamer like it's that's the next, you know, because grass is always greener. We normalize things as human beings. That's why happiness is never a constant state. It's something we're always chasing. It comes in moments, small moments that we learn to appreciate once we realize they can't be there forever. Does that make sense? Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh. I saw Omi. I was watching Omi. Watching Omi. No, that makes sense though, Train. No, we are in the best <laughs> positions. We can do anything we want. W. That's not what I said. No, it is. We, no, it's we, really not. It is. No, what I, basically what you're saying is the best streamers are the ones that succeed doing what they would be doing regardless of streaming. No, no. I was talking within streaming. Like, it's another world within it. So... As you know, there are certain things that streamers won't admit, but we behind the scenes know. Yes. Right. Certain streamers, what success, what gets them the most views, they do, but it's not truly what they love. There comes a point where it just becomes like a zombie. You wake up, you know you have to do it because this is what gives you the views, but realistically, you don't want to do it because TikTok. you want to go play another game that you get one tenth of views. Right. What I'm saying is the ultimate dream is the person where the peak viewership is the same thing as their peak enjoyment level right so the game they'd be playing regardless of views regardless of money yes. regardless of business is also the same game that gives them the peak business views like, and money so right exactly like if i was to not go on my second and play wow for like two weeks and if i was a giga chat and did that on my main channel and still flourished doing exactly. whatever i wanted that's the that's ultimate the ultimate, ultimate ultimate it's the ultimate happiness i right? feel because you but isn't it also has to do with risk though? Like, 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 wow is just what? wow sucks though. So like, <laughs> that was kind of no. just a selfish one, you know? Yeah, but I'm not saying it's what streamers are obligated to do. I'm saying yeah. that's just the dream of every streamer. That's what gambling was to me, right? It's something I love to like, do. What if it is smarter to actually just take two weeks off, to just not technically off, just enjoy yourself and then come back to it? I like, think I don't think I understand what I'm saying. So I do understand it, what you're saying though. No, because this is only relevant to what I'm saying. No, I'm just projecting how I feel, though, right now with WoW. Oh, okay. You feel me? Yeah. I'm projecting hard because I, I okay. recently just stopped. I just played a bunch of WoW. Yeah. And I didn't stream it. So and what? Even back in my head, I'm thinking, like, I'm Elling because I'm not streaming. No. And I'm doing what I want to do. I don't think, no, I don't but think so. But in reality, it was fine. Yeah. I did that with Rust. Who gives a fuck? I had fun. I played Rust two weeks, no stream. Yeah. But I have a feeling we did those t things for different reasons because it's odd to me that you're feeling guilty about that. I didn't feel guilty. If anything, I felt guilty about coming back too early. I wanted to play Rust another week. Yeah, no, I tell you. <laughs> I, have a streaming, I have a streaming addiction, I think. What a Rust. Yeah, of course. Me too. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I love it. I fucking love it. I'm Let's see if Buddha addicted. wants to join. Yeah, I know. I'm addicted. My Smokey, are how you feel? Out. Talking to me? Bruh. Smoky. <laughs> I'm just I'm just flabbergasted right now. That's how I feel. You guys blow my mind, bro. Are we gaming? Yeah. I'm too high for this. Good.